Hi, everybody. Is anybody here? No, well, people will watch it on replay. Hello. Oh. We got a lot of replays last week's. <laughs> In case you didn't notice. Did anybody find any cicadas yet? Mm, hang on. We did ask that question, didn't we? I thought I heard like one in my bushes. But it wasn't like a bunch of them. Hmm. There was a, something making like a scraping sound. Maybe it was the bushes themselves. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what a cicada sounds like? I do, I do, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't look like... Well, it says... Someone took a picture of one, but... Hmm. Good morning, James. Lissa. Did you see that story out of Japan, the bullet train engineer? Yeah, that's great. I just sent you all that stuff. By yeah. the way, sorry. He had to go to the bathroom. And so he they're so adamant about schedules being on time in, in Japan that he left the bullet train cockpit going like full speed. Yeah. Uh, just to poop. Left a conductor in charge. Yeah. <laughs> just it, Watch this. Just it, It's a train. Like, where, where, what's, what's going to happen? It's on tracks. How do they do that, though? If they've got to go, do they get breaks? I don't know. Was it an emergency? I know that their work days are like super long. They're like 5 a.m. to midnight. That's crazy. I think they get breaks, but this sounded like it was you know, an emergency. An urgent call. Uh -huh. So he didn't leave it completely unattended. No, but he, that's like leaving a passenger in an airplane cockpit. Here, we'll watch this. Mm -hmm. Or a stewardess. Yeah, the conductors are only for getting people on and off the train. Yeah. They're not supposed to be in the cockpit. Is there like a, a stop button just in case? <laughs> on what? Just, just in that's, case that's, of emergencies. A, I'm sure there's a break. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like on his digestive system? <laughs> like hit that, break the glass. Unfortunately, it doesn't it sound like that bad. was the case. <laughs> like we, were, we were trying for the train. And stand by 20 seconds. Good morning from the campground. Hi, Mary. One hundred two point nine W four country and snap back. It's Old Dominion at seven forty three. Time for your Monday morning jump start with Doctor Marty. Five tips to make your marriage better. That's right. All right, let's start in. And the bonus. Okay, number one. Um, how do we say this? Above average uh, uh, satisfaction in Parcheesi play. Okay. Uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh please no! Why did you go there? I don't want to know. Uh, oh, think about it. Uh, okay, but l let's let's say this though. It, it's you don't have to be great at the game. Number one. A, a lot of this has to do with what happens outside of the Parcheesi room. Okay. okay. So for instance, um, housework has been shown. If a guy helps around with household chores, that helps a bunch. Like it can raise up to 38 uh points uh in the group who had a spouse that actually helped did wow. the dishes and things. I think we're talking about the men probably. With that mm -hmm. mostly, but yeah, that's that that's going to be important. But don't you know? Don't fear if you're not great at it. There are other things you can do outside of that game that can help raise your score. How are you well, not great at doing the dishes? Like I no, get it. <laughs> not that. I mean, talk about part cheesy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are very good at doing the dishes. At a boy, Casanova. Stop, both of you. I just say he's not doing the dishes. Stop. What's number two? Number two, above average commitment. In other words, um, you want to be good at the marriage, so you behave like you want to be good at, at the marriage, right? So you 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 rate that up there as an important thing that gets a lot of your attention and resources. 
All right. More with Dr. Marty coming up in just a moment. I need to go get a, a little bit of my Lanta or something, and, <laughs> and, and, and I'll be back in, uh, You're fine. in just a few moments. Let's take a quick check on traffic. What do you got, Madison? Things are really looking good for your Monday morning commute. No major problems. 127 right at 94, maybe just a little heavier through the construction uh, there. No problems on 94 at this time. It looks like 23 should be running smoothly as well. Uh, M52 and M14 looking good. US 12, we are seeing some heavier traffic on Michigan. Avenue through downtown Celine and right around 23. If you have a tip for us, 734-623-1029. Traffic is sponsored by Rocket Mortgage, and that's the latest from the W4 Country Traffic Center. Okay, I'll be the first to admit I didn't make it, but there is there any coffee? I did not make it's it. It's brewing. Anymore. All right, it should be done by now. Thank you, Welch. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. <laughs> Courtney, here comes the Bubba stroke. That's about right. It sounds like a weird dance move. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody do the Bubba stroke. Julie's happy with uh, more group therapy. We, we need it for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Morning, Troy. Hey, Troy. Uh, Phyllis said her daughter lives in Arlington, Virginia. She said the cicadas are thick. That does not sound good. How was your weekend, Marty? You know, it was okay. Um, I worked some on Saturday and what else? Just kind of, I like doing not much on the weekend. You know, I read some and I don't know, hung out with the fam. That's nice. Can I say fam? Am I too old? My daughter got mad at me when I said I did it on purpose, though. I, she was with her friends. Fam? Yeah, she was with her friends. I said, hey, fam. And she shot me. A, <laughs> well, I think if you're yeah, if, if you're referring to the fam as in like your family, that's yeah. one thing. But to then greet your daughter's friends with, hey, hey fam. fam. <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> sort of your point there. Yeah. Well, well, that's how you get rid of slang too. Like, all we have to do is pick up on their slang and start using it, Kathy and I, and then uh, it's done. Mm-hmm. They, they don't do it anymore. Yeah, they're looking for a new word. Mm-hmm. No, that makes sense. No cap. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> Is that really a thing? We talked about it yesterday. I know, but I still don't believe it. <laughs> it's silly. What don't you believe? It's Skippy and his weird. Skip Skip had a bunch Language. of uh, Gen Z slang. And yeah. we, we learned about what cap means. Cap? Cap. Cap and capping. It just means if you're if you're capping, you're lying. And so if you're telling the truth or it's for real, you say no cap. <sighs> the silly. one that I'm getting hit with, with Gen Z lately is bet. We were just we were talking about that one too. Bet. What does bet mean? It means like for sure. Like you got it. Let's go. Like you bet. Yeah, basically. Betcha. Bet. Mm-hmm. No betcha. Hey, you want to get some dinner? Bet. Mm-hmm. You bet. Why don't you say you bet? I don't know. Or sure. I don't make the rules, Madison. <laughs> I'm just trying to answer questions here. Goals. That's one goals. I, oh, I, that one, I know that one. Oh, really? So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm way, but I'm decades behind. Then I got to go to the next generation <laughs> to make a. Oh, I, I mean, I, I don't know if I've used it very much, but I know mm. what that one means. You know that one. You know goals. Goals. That's easy. Hashtag goals. Yeah. How about swell? Are the kids still saying swell? Or I like to say swell. Swell. That's swell. I like groovy. I said I said groovy. That cool? all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. A solid. Well, wow, that was solid. The yeah. one that I don't like is more millennial than Gen Z, but it's sick. Yeah, I hear that all the time. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Oh, that's F- so sick. Fire. That's fire. Or on fleek. Who says that? Nobody. <laughs> I remember that. Anymore. That lasted a minute. <laughs> Ew, don't blow your nose in the microphone. Yeah, that was uh, huh. on fleek was very quick. Where do I blow it? I'll oh, wait from the microphone. That wasn't fleek. Or maybe it was. Or was it fleet? No, no cap. (laughs) (laughs) 
Rad, yeah, that's one. That's that's one of rad. my words, man. Oh, that's Kimberly. rad. <laughs> gnarly. I I was just gonna say I've said gnarly yeah, several fire. times. It's pretty gnarly. Fire. Yeah. I say like a caveman. Fire. Fire. King's oh, Island fire. Amusement Park was closed Saturday because of a number of fights. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what was what what was closed? King's Who was Island fighting? Amusement Park. A number of fights. <laughs> Who was fighting? Who goes to an amusement park and fights? Yeah, this isn't fun. I yes, had a dream that I went to Michigan's Adventure last night. And fought? No. I got tickets for the next day. Like, I went there to get tickets for the following day. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what's going on with this, but I can't handle it in my ear. No, I don't think it's your headphones. I heard that, too. I hear nothing. You heard it? The... You're not here. Well, you don't even have your headphones on. No. I've been hearing pops and clicks and things all morning. Bubba's got the fix. Just take them off. It fixes well, it. Well, we got new microphones, so it means that someone was in here working on things. Mm -hmm. I stand by. Mm. Mm. 102.9 W4 Country and Hard to Forget at Sam Hunt at 751, the Breakfast with Bubba show in the morning. Your Monday morning jump start with Dr. Marty is underway. Dr. Martin Fletcher is here, and we're talking the five things uh, that are important for a successful marriage. Number one, above average parcheesi. Uh, number two, above average commitment. What is number three? Number three is uh, above average generosity. And and I'm not talking about gift buying. That seemed to not play a big uh, factor in this research, but it's more like just, you know, bring them a cup of coffee or something or, or to, you, you, instead of being entitled, you um, I think about uh, more about what they need and just, you know, it's, it's really about attention and, um, you know, kind of uh, showing, um, you know, just positive regard for the person out of nowhere, just as a way of being to each other. So. That's a good one there. Generosity. Hear that, guys? Make the cup of coffee. Make the eggs this morning. He did the dishes. He's good at it. There you go. You're telling us to do this for you, not to do it for each other. I made the coffee. <laughs> I did make the coffee. Yeah, Bubba said, just go make me some coffee. Yeah. yeah. What's, uh, what's number four, Marty? Number four, um, above average attitude in um, towards raising children. And and what that means, and we, I've seen a bunch of research on this, too. Um, like, women uh, love when a guy is you know playing with kids you know um and i'm i'm not paying on guys because i've seen it go the other way around too where the parent is, the best parent is the father but oftentimes it's it's the other way around but yeah you know just really um both committing to to raising the kids and working together on that and, and giving them lots of time too all right more with dr marty coming up on 102.9 w4 country all right yeah, there's some sort of like gate or auto attenuation that's going on mm -hmm, here. I don't like it. You're not hearing that at all? I don't hear it. Yeah, it's really bothersome. I'm not getting anything, any artifacts on my end if it matters. Well, if you're not hearing it, it's good. Like if you're hearing a gate people. effect, I am definitely not hearing that. Like it's 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 got two levels of attenuation, it sounds like. And like Marty's talking, it's a little bit quieter. And so it ups everything. And then you talk and it's distorted and it turns everything back down. So you're not. Yeah, your mic does sound hot to me, though, Bubba. I had to turn my stuff down. It does? It did. I don't know if it's you. It's on uh, my end, it was. It, it does, like, after Marty's been talking. Yeah, turn then, yours up a little bit. Then Marty. it attenuates. Like, okay. it's, something's adjusting between two different levels. My my oh. uh, my gain is now at, like, quarter after. Is that any good? What do we do until then? And, and I'm getting red. I'm getting red. Am I going to, I'm going to distort maybe. You're not at all. Right now. Distorted yeah. at all. Oh, okay. You want me to keep going? Yeah. No, leave it right there. Right there is good. Okay. I don't want to have that conversation with the engineer today. <laughs> I just want it to fix itself. Just drop a match. <laughs> Because I know how it's going to start. It's, it's, it's a problem with my headphones. Mm -hmm. Well, I've never had this problem. I've never had this problem before. It hurts when it happens. You don't hear that at all? I don't hear it at all. Yeah. Like it just happened while I was talking. Did mm -hmm. you hear it? Mm-hmm. 
it's great for our viewing. Technical honey, difficulties in the morning. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. Kimberly, why does my kid call me bra? <laughs> I don't know, but they need to be severely disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Hit them enough. And yeah. what was the one? What is it from like South Africa or something? What do they call each other? Brew. Brew. Yeah. We, we learned that when we were watching Below Deck. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to watch television this weekend, too, and I just couldn't. I hate it all. There's nothing I like. I like Seinfeld, and it's not on TV anymore. Like, even in reruns. It's on Netflix. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 102.9 W4 Country and your Monday morning jump start underway. That is undivided. Uh, Tim McGraw, Tyler Hubbard, and at 756, Dr. Martin Fletcher's here. We're talking about the five most important things for a successful marriage. Number one, above average parcheesi. Number two, above average commitment. Number three, above average generosity. Number four, above average attitude towards raising children. What is number five, Mr. Marty? Number five is social support for the marriage. So in other words, um, there are, um, you know, family likes uh, the marriage, likes your husband, likes your wife, whatever. Um, or, uh, you know, people go to church for that reason. So you get to know some, hang out with couples. So having at least five, you know, positive uh, relationships um, vis-a-vis the marriage, right? Hmm. In other words, you're not, you know, giving your, you know, why did you marry that jerk? It's the opposite of that. What if, right? I mean, you can't change your parents, Mm-hmm. Well, you can replace them with something else, not with parents, but with, with new parents. parents. <laughs> Better parents. Are your parents against I, marriage? No, I, I'm talking hypothetically for other people. This what, isn't why just would you for the suggest two of us. that? I, because Welch just asked that. Oh, oh I, I get it. There was, a, there was a question behind the question, maybe. No. All right. Do you have a bonus today, Marty? I do have a bonus. And um, this is uh, from the research. So this isn't me talking, but, you know, putting your marriage into a spiritual frame of reference. Marriage is a sacrament um, in the tradition that I follow, um, and it, it should be treated that way. It's not there to me. Or that person isn't there just to be our servant or meet our needs. This is something that's a, a mystical union between two people. You're darn right. This is a mystical <laughs> union. Mystical <laughs> union. I'd have it no other way. That's the thing I'm looking at across the table from me. This is cut it out. mysticism or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Strange kind of mysticism. Yeah. And uh, when when do you leave for Vegas, Marty? Friday. Morning. Friday. Okay. Yeah, uh, Delta. And he's marrying you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In a mystical union. Yes. I hope you use that language, Marty. Mm-hmm. If not, will you will you just say if anybody else has no, anything to say? He's not going to say that. And just just no. give me thirty seconds. <laughs> nope. 30 seconds? Yeah. that's a long time. I can get a lot. You done don't in need 30, thirty seconds. seconds. You yeah. don't you don't get any airtime during that. And you may have said enough. I think you made your point. I'm yeah. not sure what my point is, Mark. <laughs> okay, I made it, it when I don't know what it is. I think you've made it. <laughs> <laughs> You're here every single Monday morning with the Monday morning jump start. Thank you, Marty. Okay, bye all. Find him at drmartinfletcher.com, the Shepherd and the Shrink podcast for New Hope Counseling. Traffic now, Madison, what do you got? We have uh, just a little heavier traffic on 127 right at 94 through the construction through there, but 94 running smoothly. So is 23. It looks like M52 and M14 should be running free and clear. A little heavier traffic on Michigan Avenue through downtown Saline and off and on towards 23. If you have a tip for us, 734-623-1029. Traffic is sponsored by Taco Bell, and that's the latest from the W4 Country Traffic Center. I tell you what, if you are looking for a new job polo fields is hiring they really need employees and um if you're a food and beverage manager have that experience they've got that position open a sous chef that pays fifty-five thousand plus that position is open line cook 17 dollars an hour dishwashers 15 dollars an hour wait staff as well uh just go to polofieldccmi.com to learn more or to apply yeah they've got some great employee perks too they can work around a very flexible schedule they're looking for full and part-time people uh you, you plus you get employee golf and other employee discounts so go check it out right now polofieldccmi.com yeah high school students wrapping things up for the summer too if you're 17 and younger you're welcome to apply uh you will need a work permit for your school that is required but lots of great jobs it's 
a great place to work, Polo Fields Country Club. And to apply or to learn more information, go to polofieldsccmi.com. That's polofieldsccmi.com.